Good morning, everyone. I'm Bob Ravenscroft, the Vice President for Advancement and Chief Development Officer at Bryan Health. Um, we'd like to welcome members of the media here in person and certainly those of you on Zoom. So what we're here to share today is as of January 1 of this year, uh, Kearney Regional Medical Center became the most recent system entity and the newest system entity to Bryan Health. So here to share some perspectives on this is Russ Grunwald, the Chief Executive Officer of Bryan Health, Bill Calhoun, the President and Chief Executive Officer of Kearney Regional Medical Center. We then have Dr. Scott Smith from Platte Valley Medical Clinic, who is also the Director of Medical Affairs for Kearney Regional Medical Center. Tony Goings, who is the D Nebraska State Director for Economic Development, and then uh, Mayor Stan Klaus from here in Kearney. So how we'll work this today is each uh, speaker, presenter will come up and share their perspectives in succession. And then at the end of that, uh, we'll take questions from those in person and then those offering questions uh, via, via uh, Zoom. So without further ado, I'd like to welcome Russ Grunwald, the Chief Executive Officer of Bryan Health to the podium. Thank you, Bob. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, when we were invited about 10 months ago to enter into some conversations with Kearney Regional Medical Center about what a future partnership would look like, uh, it was very exciting to us. But Kearney Regional Medical Center has a sterling reputation clinically. They've clearly been a successful organization. And for us to talk with them was, uh, was really something that we were looking forward to. When we had those first couple of meetings, I think I could summarize the, the questions that we were being asked by them around two things. Uh, one was, if we were to enter into some sort of long-term relationship, would uh, Brian be interested in Kearney Regional Medical Center, or would they be interested in Kearney and the region? Uh, and that was, that was one that uh, was important to us. The second one was what, was, what kind of culture did Brian have? Was it consistent with what they had developed out in the area? Was it one that really valued local, uh, local decision-making, local autonomy, local expertise? And for us, this was, uh, these were great, two great questions because right in our mission it says that we want to partner with communities and physicians to increase the level of health in their communities and the surrounding areas. So we found a real fit uh, er early on. And uh, it's just gone from there very well uh, to the point now where we have welcomed uh, Kearney Regional Medical Center into their family and us in, and they welcomed us into theirs. So this partnership has is, is really gone off to a great start. Uh, we've been asked quite a bit about what, what does this do for Brian? Why would Brian be interested in this area? And not only is Kearney Regional Medical Center uh, an, a great organization and one that we're proud to be affiliated with, but we also have other investments in the central Nebraska area. So we own a hospital in um, Central City, Merrick Medical Center. We have an investment in a hospital in Grand Island, Grand Island Regional Medical Center. We have a, joint, a couple of joint ventures in Hastings, one with Mary Lanning for cardiology services. One uh, uh, is with Hastings College with a second site for our nursing campus to help round out our workforce strategies in the area. And so now bringing Kearney Regional Medical Center on board, really central Nebraska has the opportunity to even further become a hub of health care. Uh, so many times we think we get too much business coming this direction eastward when we believe that we can continue to solidify this area for more specialties and subspecialties in the future to keep as much care local as possible. Uh, they've done a great job out here and in all of the communities uh, to, to do that, but when you get enough critical mass, it gives you the opportunity to do even more. So uh, that's what we're, what we're looking forward to, is to working with the, uh, the communities out in this area, not just Kearney, not just Grand Island, but also some of the other independent communities to talk about how do we do an even more robust job of bringing specialty and subspecialty services out this direction. Uh, but most importantly, again, we think we found a real fit uh, in, in a partnership here uh, on a long-term basis. Bill? Good, ever, good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us today. Uh, today is a chance for us to honor the past, recognize the present, and then also share our excitement for the future. I've had the pleasure over the course of the last four years to serve as the Chief Executive Officer of Kearney Regional Medical Center and to work with my esteemed colleagues, all of our employees, and certainly all of the physicians, both within our own 
medical clinic organization, as well as the independent physicians who service not only the central region of Kearney, but also western Nebraska and northern Kansas. We have been servicing 21 locations over the course of the last couple of decades, uh, specifically through our Platte Valley Medical Clinic organization. It's an opportunity for us to develop our multi-specialty presence, continue to collaborate with independent physicians going forward, and then look to the future with Brian Health to identify where there are opportunities to address needs in the rural communities that we've been servicing, where there's some overlap in the services that Brian Health has been servicing across the state, and to do more. It's been satisfying as a member of the Kearney community and certainly gratifying as a healthcare leader to see how this partnership over the course of the last 10 months has come to the point of developing into an actual uh, family relationship going forward. We have uh, in, in front of us today Dr. Smith who will be sharing his insights. He'll share with you some specifics around our history, the legacy that our physicians have created and their excitement for what this partnership means to us. It's extremely important to recognize that one of the things that Russ talked about today is the importance of voice and what our physicians have meant to this organization over the course of the eight years that Kearney Regional Medical Center has been in existence and certainly the 50 plus years that Platte Valley Medical Clinic has been in existence in this community and all of the independent physicians who have been in this community supporting our, our, our citizens of, of Nebraska. Uh, we look forward to the future, we look forward to further conversations and, and I'm, I'm pleased to uh, recognize our new friends and uh, say thank you for accepting our invitation uh, on behalf of all of the employees and the physicians and the governing board of Kearney Regional Medical Center. Uh, it's, it's certainly our distinct honor to be now a part of the Brian Health family. I'm extremely honored to be present at this event today. Um, as one of the founding physicians and current board members here, uh, I'm excited to welcome Brian into the KRMC family. KRMC was started out as an idea. Uh, several doctors um, had this brilliant idea of starting a hospital. And as we talked further, um, we realized there were four key uh, principles that we needed to create. One, we wanted to create a physician-led campus. Two, deliver the highest level of patient care possible. Three, react timely to the needs of the community, whether that was through innovation, technology, service line development, or outreach strategies. And four, create a positive work environment where employees feel valued and we all had a common goal of delivering um, top health care. We had to overcome many, many obstacles to get this place built. Um, we finally achieved that through lots of hard work and determination. Kearney Regional was successful from day one. The growth of this organization has required four expansion projects in the first six years of its existence. The demand and growth continues today and we're currently in need of additional expansions to meet the needs of the communities we serve. With that in mind, the Kearney Regional Board entered into discussions to find a partner, a partner that would fit our model. It was absolutely imperative that our new partner had the same founding principles. When we entered into discussions with Brian Health, and explain the importance of local governance and physician involvement. Not only did they embrace it, they encouraged it. It was at that point that the physician leadership on the campus knew that we had found the right partner. On behalf of the physicians and the leadership, we're excited and pleased with our new partnership. It is my belief that the future of healthcare in Kearney has never been brighter. Thank you.
You know, for me, it's always an honor to uh, spend time in Kearney. Mayor, you have a wonderful town. Uh, the town of Mike Annie and uh, Paul Eunice, two very good friends, so I'm honored to be here. I'm also honored to have the opportunity to wear two hats, representing uh, the state of Nebraska, the citizens, and my boss, Governor Pete Ricketts, as the head of economic development, but also serving Brian um, as a board member. Uh, so listen, on behalf of the state of Nebraska, the Department of Economic Development, I'd like to extend a huge congratulations for uh, this partnership. Um, from an economic development standpoint, building scale that will create healthy lives is a large driver for our economic system and a large driver for creating a great life and a good life for everyone here in our state. Healthcare is crucial to our community's fabric and crucial to our vision to grow Nebraska. Access to an outstanding health care system is something families look and expect for when they move to a new state and a new community, and really in a place that they call home. Nebraska is renowned for its wonderful health care and educational systems because we have outstanding providers like the Kearney Regional Medical Center and Bryan Health, and who are pushing the envelope each and every day to create more service and infuse technology to create more scale and take better care of our citizens. I want to take a moment to appreciate all the men and women and everyone here that's a part of this organization that put forth a level of grit to make this happen because collaborations are not easy. It's a lot of uh, attention to detail, a lot of work that has to be done, and clearly you all have made that happen. Uh, this partnership really represents the future of Kearney, it represents the future of Nebraska, uh, this venture is a testament to Carney's incredible growth. Mayor, I talk about Carney all the time. I really, really do. You're part of my talking points because what happens here in Carney is really indicative of leadership and a way forward that is, uh, v that, that is a model for other places across the state. So um, I always say we all wear the same jersey. We're all on the same team. And this is, um, this is really an indication of that. I want to express uh, the appreciation for the great job and opportunities that the healthcare industry has created for this state. Again, it's a large driver of our economic system. We look forward to seeing some of the growth opportunities that will come from this collaboration. Uh, congratulations, and uh, thank you again. And from uh, the state of Nebraska and uh, the Governor Pete Ricketts, anything that we can do to help support this effort, uh, the answer is yes. So thank you again. Well, good morning. Uh, Mayor Stan Klaus, I have the opportunity to uh, represent our community at this event, and it's always a privilege. Uh, as I'm listening to the previous speakers, uh, especially uh, Dr. Smith, talk about the history of where we were at, and many of us remember this as a cornfield. Uh, with the cranes out feeding, and, and this goes back a number of years. And so when we uh, worked together, and it, it was a challenge, as Dr. Smith mentioned, but as we had the opportunity to watch Kearney Regional Medical Center grow and the different expansions, and then look at the anchor tenant that uh, the regional hospital, Kearney Regional Hospital, is in this area and all the things that have developed around it. It's, it's really been um, a key driver on our economic development for the city of Kearney. We talk about our pillars in our community. Uh, obviously, uh, health care is one of those right at the top. And uh, Kearney Regional is a regional facility. Uh, we, we draw uh, health care from uh, many, many areas in Kansas, the western part of the state, uh, Colorado. Uh, and, and so it's just a, a great thing to have Kearney Regional Medical Center in our facility, or uh, excuse me, in our community. Uh, when um, Bill Calhoun called me and, and told me that uh, this transaction, uh, they were having these discussions and it looked like it was going to happen, uh, one of the first questions I asked Bill, I said, is it good for you, is it good for the employees, and is it good for our medical of people here at Kearney Regional. He said, absolutely. And I said, okay, then let's go for it and make it work. And so to the Bryan folks, um, you know, thank you for investing in our community. Thank you for the partnership, and that's been mentioned many times. And Kearney, we just quietly get things done, and, and we just really appreciate it. In fact, I had a, a call on economic development this morning. They said, well, Kearney's not really up there on the radar for a lot of economic development activities. And I said, we're okay with that. 
is we'll just do what we need to do and we'll make it happen. And this is another example of partnering with Bryan Health and we're going to be much stronger and a much better community because of this partnership. So thank you for your investment and the Kearney Regional folks, doctors, thank you for what you do. Uh, you make our community a much better community. So on behalf of our community, uh, we couldn't be prouder and we know that we'll have continued growth and we'll support you in any way we can. Uh, thank you for all of the remarks. It was a great perspective um, from each of you, um, and I think it explains uh, very well how these two organizations are a nice cultural fit, um, all aimed at elevating the quality of life uh, through better health for, for people of Nebraska and the region. We do have a couple of questions that came in online. We'll just start taking those um, one by one. Um, if I can give you a quick answer, I will, but then I'll call for reinforcement on those. The, the first one from Aaron Bonderson, uh, will there be the same amount of jobs at both uh, institutions in the future as before the partnership? Um, quick answer is there will be the same amount of jobs um, as of January 1 that there was before because uh, much isn't changing. But I do anticipate there will be growth in jobs both for um, Kearney Regional and Bryan. So Russ, you want to supplement that at all? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Uh, uh, obviously, workforce is a number one issue of the state. It's workforce is a number one issue of health care. And at Bryan today, um, you know, we have a number of openings. Kearney Regional Medical Center has a number of openings. We're hoping to just draw more and more folks into this, not only to fill out what we have for needs today, but also we plan on growing. Uh, we think that this, um, this, especially in this Kearney region, there's a lot of opportunity for growth in the future, so we would anticipate that there would be uh, further growth on that. You want me to take the next one on yeah, the ownership? Ahead. There's also a, a question here about what is the nature of the partnership? Is Brian taking an ownership stake in the hospital uh, from Matt? Uh, yes, absolutely. So Brian will actually uh, be the 100% owner of Kearney Regional Medical Center uh, and all things that surround that in the future. Uh, in fact, what we probably needed to make sure that we mentioned is we are moving from a not, uh, for a for-profit status to a not-for-profit status. So Brian will become, uh, in not-for-profit terms, the sole member of the not-for-profit hospital uh, and, and operations uh, in the future. That being said, again, as Dr. Smith uh, mentioned before, it's really important for us that physician input and physician uh, governance is part and parcel of what we do. So there will be a, yes, a not-for-profit board, like all not-for-profits need to have, and it will have community membership, it will have physician membership, it will have Brian membership, uh, like all of our uh, not-for-profit boards have. But there's also a leadership board that looks very much today uh, like it has in the past. Uh, the physicians and the administration that have really been running the operations and really determining its future will absolutely be doing that in the future as well. So we'll have both both boards really working and working together to make sure that uh, we're meeting the, the operational needs, uh, the local community needs, and also the state not-for-profit needs. Um, it looks like this one is uh, for you, Mayor Klaus. Uh, what is the meaning of this partnership to the city of Kearney and how will it impact the city? Well, thank you. Uh, it means a great deal to Kearney. Obviously, uh, bringing uh, someone of, of the reputation of Brian Health and what they bring to the table, I think, is huge. And if they have the opportunity to invest in our community, I think that goes without saying that's important and, and beneficial to our community. And I, I think with that investment and that partnership, we'll just continue to see it grow. And uh, the resources now that Kearney Regional can have access to in that partnership, I think, just enhances further what our medical uh, opportunities are in our community. I think that was, yeah, so thank you. Uh, to put it into context, uh, about, I don't know, about 10 years ago, Bryan Health had 4,000 employees. And uh, up to December 31st, we have now 5,600 employees with the addition of the, the Carney staff that pushes it, you know, what, you know, 6,500 or so. So I, I don't anticipate, especially with aging, population and baby boomers that the demand for health care is going to decrease. Uh, Dr. Smith, we have one for you. It says, you mentioned that local governance and physician involvement were critical for any future partner. Why are those th two things so important for Kearney Regional Medical Center? 
Well, those two issues were the driving force of Kearney Regional Medical Center. Um, it was the reason that the physicians um, took the risk and started Kearney Regional Medical Center. And um, I truly believe it's one of the main reasons we've been so successful. And so to enter into a new partnership, um, that was a prerequisite for us to be willing to do this. And um, we found that partner with Brian. We're very comfortable with the governance arrangements. Um, and we think that we'll continue to be extremely successful here with that, um, with that format. Thank you. Well, I mean, I think it gives us more resources. Um, I think um, we have access to some specialty cares that um, we've always had access to, but it'd be a little bit easier to access them now. Um, I think our ability to um, continue to grow our campus, to um, put some new service lines down here that we've been talking about for a long time, it gives us the opportunity to start doing that. Um, and we're full all the time. Uh, we need an expansion. It gives us an ability to meet those needs in a quicker manner than what we could have done um, independently. All right. There's a little bit to unpack in the next series of questions here. It's can hospitals survive themselves? Many hospitals are joining networks. Is that how they stay viable and alive? Um, so, Russ, Bill, those are probably good ones for you to take. Yeah, let, let me go ahead and start, and uh, certainly B Bill can uh, chime in on this. But first of all, let me just say, Kearney Regional Medical Center uh, was not in trouble. In fact, they are doing very, very well. Uh, so that's not why they came uh, to talk to Brian. They really talked about how can, what kind of forces do we need looking forward into the future to continue to grow campuses and bring additional resources out this direction. So I think the answer is they can survive, but this business is getting tougher. There's no question about that. And there are some things that we think will make uh, business better going forward, whether those are large investments in electronic records, whether those are investments in campuses, uh, whether those are working together as we work with employers who are looking for a different arrangements with, with uh, medical uh, places in, in the future as well. So uh, I think one of the things that you're seeing a lot these days is folks saying we either need to stay independent or we need to join a network. And from our vantage point, um, there is an advantage to do both. Not, this is not an either or. And so that's why we have been very, really strongly in, in the belief that it needs to be locally uh, owned, uh, in, um, excuse me, it needs to be locally governed, locally uh, invested in in the local communities, and yet there's a sense in which we can bring more resources if we pool those. So this isn't really centralization of resources as much as it is pooling of resources. I expect that w that um, Kearney Regional Medical Center will get some benefit and some learnings from Brian, and I expect that Brian will get some learnings and benefits from Kearney Regional Medical Center. Uh, that's why we believe that both both are important to us. Um, and, and yet at the same time, there's, uh, there's a question about doctors rotating between all the different hospitals, and I won't fully address that. I'll let the others do that. But, but it was interesting as we were walking through and meeting physicians and staff yesterday, I ran into several physicians who said to me, gosh, in my specialty, I'm just the only one or there are just a few of us, and I'm looking forward to just having more colleagues to run some things by, to talk together, to do some planning. So it's not like those services don't exist, but the idea of being able to have a more robust group working together to think about these things and to think about the future of their subspecialties and their specialties, to me, that's really the, the benefit uh, more so than rotating between campuses. If I may, I'd like to add just a couple of comments, and I think Russ captured my thoughts extremely well. There are various reasons that organizations like ours make the choice to look for a partner. 
A choice can be made when someone's in trouble. A choice can be made when someone's successful. A choice can be made when you're looking at elevating the quality of care and services that we're able to offer in a, in a, a state like Nebraska. In our particular case, we certainly were not in trouble. In fact, we've had certainly some tough times in the beginning and we've gone from zero to 850 employees over the course of the last eight years and our anticipated growth is quite staggering as we look at the services that Dr. Smith and his colleagues have talked to us about extending into over the course of the next three to five years. And in fact, more than 50% of the patients who are seen in this regional medical center are coming to us from rural communities across the state. So we were not in trouble. We were in a position where we needed to respond to the responsibility of becoming a provider of choice in central and western Nebraska and northern Kansas uh, from a medical regional center perspective. We have plans to add additional services. We have plans to add additional physicians based on conversations that we've had in rural communities to be collaborative and supportive with those rural communities and certainly here as you've heard Dr. Smith speak about that. It's because of our success and because of the members of our community that you've made us uh, an organization that is a destination of choice across this part of the state. And as a result of that, we are looking to accelerate our growth by seeking out and joining the Bryan Health family. And that's why this was so critically important to the physicians. I will tell you that those were some extensive, thoughtful conversations amongst the physician partners of this organization to make a choice whether or not we want to remain independent successfully independent or if we wanted to grow at the pace that the expectations have been placed on us from a regional medical center perspective and, and our go governing board made up largely of physicians made the choice to open the invitation to Brian Health and we're glad that Brian Health actually walked through the door and accepted our invitation. You know, I think one interesting thing that may have been mentioned earlier, but as this relationship was um, heating up and getting a, 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 a better known, um, Brian, it's kind of related to the, the networks and, and physicians moving around. Um, Bill's reference, the Kearney service area that goes all the way into northern Kansas and specifically central and western Nebraska. On top of that, a few years ago, um, Kearney Regional Medical Center joined the Heartland Health Alliance, which is a uh, an alliance of rural hospitals, um, regional hospitals throughout the state of Nebraska that is, you know, kind of commandeered by, by Brian. Um, as far as physicians going between facilities, it's not just hospital facilities. The outreach that the Platte Valley Medical Clinic does is, is very robust. Brian Telemedicine uh, is providing pulmonary care to, I think it's 38 uh, hospitals throughout the state. Uh, we have significant outreach as well. And what I think is pretty cool about this is Brian, as a Nebraska-owned and governed health system, has a commitment not just to the kind of the urban hubs of, you know, the Tri-Cities and, and Lincoln, but we see patients, treat patients from every county in Nebraska and surrounding states every year, and the, the commitment to rural health care is very robust through this. So you'll see the physicians from, from you know, bouncing between not just, I shouldn't say hospitals, but through medical clinics and outreach sites throughout the state. Um, there's a question here um, we'll address again is, what is the benefit of this partnership to patients? I think in summary, it's going to be, as Dr. Smith said, additional subspecialty care, uh, aids in recruitment and, and so forth. But I think that would, Dr. Smith, can you elaborate on that of what this will mean to, to patients? Well, I do think that um, it will bring um, some additional expertise to Kearney. Um, but what we hope it means to patients is, is that um, they can stay home for all their care. If we can grow the service lines that we need, um, that we currently have to send to the bigger facilities, um, to Lincoln, to Omaha, um, we hope that we're going to be able to deliver those services locally so patients don't have to travel as far. Uh, I think that's a huge benefit. Nobody wants to leave home uh, when they have their medical issues. And so we're hopeful that um, certainly we think we give great high quality care, but anything we can do to improve that, we'll take. 
uh, but we also hope that we can um, uh, add additional service lines that would, will keep people at home. Care close to home is a, a tenet of what Brian Health was and I think why uh, you see such a nice cultural fit. A little bit more on culture. This one's for Russ. You said uh, KRMC was clearly successful. What did you notice that KRMC was doing well? Um, Brian gets uh, invited into different conversations over time and we, I don't know that we have it formalized quite like this, but essentially we start looking at a couple of things first. And number one is what's the level of clinical quality? And they had high cl clinical quality. They were already doing that really well. Uh, number two, and just as important, and maybe it's 1A and 1B, is what's the physician engagement? And of course, as you've already heard, um, physician engagement was the genesis of this place. But not only were, was it sort of the folks that started it, it, they were being very successful at recruiting additional uh, physicians and specialists to the area. And when you can do that well, you have a lot to work with, high clinical quality and strong physician leadership and engagement. Uh, that They were doing that r extremely well. Then uh, I'll never forget, Bill took us uh, around, well, this is a few months ago now, as we were really kind of in the, in the heat of everything, and, and he took us around, I mean, from the front of the house to the back of the house, if you will, uh, and we were just walking through the hallways, walking through the clinics, and the engagement of the employees uh, with management, with each other, to me, that was, that was really startling, just how strong that was, how positive it was, how focused on, on uh, the community it was. So again, those, that's kind of the trifecta for us when you have physician engagement, when you have high clinical quality, when you have employee engagement, you have just a ton to work with. For Tony? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and ask it. I'll repeat it for um, the others here. Um, so what is this partnership or partnerships like with tenants? How, is it encouraging to the state or what's the feeling on a state level, on that level for, for Okay. So the, the question was for others, come on up, Tony. Uh, the question was is what do partnerships like this really mean for the state? You know, anytime uh, we create partnerships here in the state that helps to create scale and infuses, infuses technology to help create that scale, it's always great for the state. Um, it is going to help in terms of this partnership. We, we look at levers around recruiting. We look at uh, how do we publicize this so that as we look to recruit people from outside of the state and talent from outside of the state, they see that there's critical mass and scale and there's technology and there is a real uh, operation. So this collaboration is huge for the state. Um, and, and again, just for the citizens. I mean, anytime you have uh, this level of access and this level of collaboration, it always makes it great because, I mean, you know, Kearney Regional Medical Center could have said, listen, we, we want to do a bunch of capital investment and, and try to build extra. But whenever you have two great organizations that come together, it makes it better for us because you can do it much faster. So we're excited about it. And this is, this is really a great opportunity for the state of Nebraska. Okay, it looks like the questions are, are winding down. Um, our audience is kind of dual focused. Certainly we invited members of the media, but I know that we threw this out on Facebook Live and there's employees from Kearney Regional tuning in as well as employees uh, throughout uh, mostly Eastern Nebraska that work for Brian. And um, you know, as we sit today, oh, there's one more question before I summarize. How does, uh, Bill, it's probably for you, how does Kearney Regional feel about uh, its ability to have input when Brian takes 100% ownership and how does Brian plan on including KRMC's opinion? So we'll go Bill first and then Russ second. Well, let me first say I'm glad you asked. So going back to some comments that Russ made earlier and then specifically a comment that Dr. Smith made around voice. We, during the conversations that we had starting 10 months ago, an initial conversation talked about the importance of voice and the importance of maintaining the integrity 
of physician collaboration and physician leadership at all levels of the organization. And to Dr. Smith's point, I believe going back to day one when conceptually a handful of physicians got together in this community and they decided to create what they've created, they realized just how important it was to have that voice. And as we looked at an opportunity to partner with someone, it became extremely evident. In conversations we've had over the course of the last 10 months with Russ and members of his team, just how important and vitally important that is to the Bryan Health Organization. So from our perspective, this would not have happened had we not established those leading principles going into conversations leading up to the start of this new partnership on January 1. So I am 100% confident based on those leading principles. I am excited for what this means to our physicians, what it means to our employees, certainly the community of Kearney and the outlying communities as well as the state of Nebraska. I do believe that where the rubber hits the road, uh, Russ is a person of his word, his team is a person of their word, and we've established the parameters around just how important that local voice will be in governance, in leadership, and making choices based on what we believe to be in the best interests of people not only across the state of Nebraska, but specifically in the areas that we're servicing today. Yes, uh, it's, it's again, it, it, is, it is the question, right, uh, that, that we, really, we really wrestled with early on. We didn't have to wrestle very hard because we were in, on, the same, uh, on the same page on this. But that maybe was the first document that went back and forth and the first question that came up, tell me what governance means. And we had that conversation about what does governance means. And I, I want to make sure that this is clear, that the, the, we talked about a leadership board for operations. We talked about a community board that meets our, our not-for-profit healthcare status. And that board is not an advisory board. That is a fiduciary board, meaning it makes decisions. And that's the way we have done that at all of our campuses. Each medical center has a fiduciary board that's responsible for making sure it's working on the issues that, that uh, are important to that community. And so again, that, that's how we, that's how we uh, make sure that that happens. And then of course, there are the times when we want to work together, we choose to work together across all of our campuses because we know that there are opportunities to do things together that each campus could not do itself. So, uh, but that, that's how it happens. It happens first at those uh, fiduciary boards and then it works its way down from there. Okay, I'll, I'm gonna give it like five seconds here before we summarize here to see if another question comes in. Okay, it looks like we're, we're wrapping up. Uh, just in, in final to summarize a lot of this, uh, most of our senior team here was yesterday meeting with uh, our new team members here in Kearney and I would say that the staff here and members of the community that we interacted with, they epitomize Nebraska nice. It was a very warm start to this whole deal. So um, to the secondary audience, which is our employees and, and then the public that might be viewing through social media, we are just welcome as of January 1 again. We are so thrilled to have uh, 850 new colleagues here doing such high caliber work. And so to all of you out there watching right now, uh, welcome and we look forward to great things ahead. Thanks for all the questions and tuning in today.